Hi guys, welcome to this week's episode of Miss Planet. We are so glad you could join us. This week we have a request from a community member and her name is Janice and she keeps it short and sweet. She says, hi there Miss Planet, hi Janice. My niece is getting married soon and I was really hoping that you could help me out with this arch. Thanks, Janice. <laughs> Love it. Well, Janice, not only are we going to help you out, we're going to show you how to create this beautiful hydrangea arch from beginning to end. And you won't believe how simple it is. So without further ado, let's get started with Janice's request for this hydrangea wedding arch. Let's go. I must say that this is my favorite arch so far. I love the base. This particular base can be anchored down with ties or you can just sit sandbags on it and disguise it with more greenage or foliage or you can actually set two planted pots right on top of the bases. It's wonderful. I also love it because it's just simple and snap together. It is five simple pieces and they just snap in so easily. You don't have to worry about it coming apart like so many other arches do. So highly recommend it. Next, we're gonna go ahead and attach our 84 inch white sheer curtains to the top of our arch base. So it just thread it right through just like you normally would if you were doing a curtain rod. And you're gonna put two panels on one and then go spread it out nice and neat and get prepared to go ahead and gather it. So I like to use chenille sticks. I know that some people like to use the uh, to the tie backs. Um, they're just a little bit rough for me. I like just to be able to adjust my chenille sticks a lot easier. So for this, I'm gonna gather on the pleats, which is very important to gather on the pleats to get that nice professional look. And then we're just gonna simply attach it to um, the side of our arch with chenille tie. Whenever I'm looking for greenery to attach to my arches, I always make sure that the stems are wire also. It's very important that your stems, that you have your leaves on them are wire. It just creates a more full and natural look. So I'm gonna use two of these eucalyptus garlands. Now only one of them is gonna be able to, to drape all the way down one side. So we're gonna start on a corner here Go ahead and use the wire that you already have to twist it around the top of top corner of your base and then you're going to go ahead and add extra hold with a moss green chenille um chenille stick and i'm only using half of one and you just twist it it stays in place it's not going anywhere trust me then we're going to go ahead and drape it across and continue that same pattern in the middle and attaching it with a, another chenille stick uh, this also moss green and continue all the way to the next corner do the same thing until we're all the way down at the side where we have gathered our curtain where we're going to attach it also with a chenille stick Next, we're gonna take half of the other eucalyptus garland and we're gonna attach it to go down the opposite side of our wedding arch. Same type of technique, 
using their wire to attach it first and then using our chenille stick to give it extra support. Now, very important reason why we have those wire stems is because we can just fluff them up and cover up where we've attached the two. Very simple. Now that we have our base uh, garland attached, we're going to notice there's some empty spots. So I'm going to use the other half of that eucalyptus and I am going to cut it up into to smaller stem sections and I'm going to attach them separately using a chenille stick or just simply twisting another leaf around the new one to attach it securely. Very simple. You can do this. Next, I'm going to show you how to attach the hydrangeas. You're going to find a stem that you like where you want to place in that area. Split your hydrangea in half. Put the stem down the center to come out the other side and then wrap that around your hydrangea stem until it's nice and secure and you can twist it and turn it and put it exactly how you would like it. I know it's a tricky step. Go ahead and rewind it and watch it again. So simple. I'm going to do that same treatment all the way around my arch. Now I'm attaching 20 to 24 hydrangeas. You can make it as full or as sparse as you would like. It's really your preference. Now notice I do not use hot glue to attach any of my hydrangeas because hot glue sometimes can be precarious and actually you could have flowers falling off if it's a windy day. So I use this technique to make sure that my hydrangeas stay in place. It hasn't failed me yet. So I don't believe it'll fail you. Now, some of you may just like the beautiful look of the hydrangeas, and that is perfectly okay. These next two steps are absolutely optional. So I'm going to go ahead and attach a chandelier as well as some LED candles. Now, again, it's optional. If you like it with just the hydrangeas, by all means, just keep it with the hydrangeas. I just wanted to show you how you can get that same look at a fraction of the pipe price as our inspiration picture. Well, Janice, how did we do? I think it's absolutely breathtaking. I hope you like it as much as we do, and I hope it brings that extra special touch to your niece's wedding. Well, if you guys like it, by all means like us, subscribe so you can be the first to know when our videos are posted. And if you have a question or you wanna make a comment, please drop it right down below in the comment section. I do answer the questions personally. Um, of course, we're, during this time, it's been very difficult to do that, but we have a wonderful, awesome community that will be more than happy to step in and lend a helping hand until I can get to your question. In addition to that, if you would like to follow us on our social media, we would love, love, love for you to do that. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. And if you have not already signed up for your Rakuten rebate account, formerly known as Ebates, I don't know what you're waiting for. This is an awesome opportunity for you to save money while you shop and it's absolutely free. Head on down to our description, click on the link, sign up for your account. When you're ready to shop, sign on to your account, find your vendors and make your qualified purchases to receive a check at the end of the month. Well guys, our time has fast come to an end. It always goes by so fast. I want to first thank all of you who have already subscribed. We have over a hundred thousand subscribers and it's all because of you. 
I'm so grateful. There's some of you have been with us really since like our first post. And I cannot believe how blessed we are to be honored with your loyalty and um, just your support. And I just want to thank you. There's no way we could have done this without you. And I so appreciate you taking your time to support us because you have so many options on YouTube. It's more than I could even imagine. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you would like to uh, submit a project request, head on over to our website or down to the description for the link, MsPlanet.com. Click on the project request tab and follow the very easy steps. I do ask that you do it sooner than later because our production schedule fills up so fast and I absolutely hate telling anybody no. So head over there and do that quickly as possible. In addition to that, if you would like to get more DIY inspiration, it is all there for you on our website, MsPlanet.com. Also check out our Pinterest page, we have so many wonderful ideas, way too many that we can share with you on our YouTube channel. So head on over there. Well, guys, I want you to always remember that when every penny counts, you can count on this planet. Please take care of yourself. We'll see you soon. God bless.